We have what's called Alias Sketch, uh, our vector drawing and paint package. This is separate from our traditional Alias package. Um, let, me, let me show you a little bit about this. So we have all of our traditional brushes and pens and things like that. Um, we've got our traditional layer stack, something that you'd be somewhat familiar with in something like Photoshop. So we can draw all of our traditional curves. And of course we can hide these layers and bring them back at any time. But where the power comes in is in vector. So with vector, just drawing a quick vector curve in here. Just drawing a few quick vector curves. Hide my paint layer. And what we can do after the fact is start to move these curves around. So I'm just going to select this curve. Maybe I want to make a little bit more curvature, a little more lead into this curve. I can even move this to show the tangency or the curvature of this. I'm just going to go ahead and click OK. Same thing with that curve. This one, you notice it had a little bit of a wiggle in there. So what I can do is say, you know, I want to smooth this curve out between maybe there and there. Go ahead and click OK. And I can do this to all of these curves to get the smoothest result possible for a shape. And then at this point, I can come in if I want to do traditional type of rendering techniques in here, I can do that. But with vectors, what we can do is select a material color here, maybe a blue gloss. Just click OK. And what we'll do is we'll just drag this through. So you can see how quick that we can render without having to traditionally come in and start to paint and sketch and things like that. So just to give you an idea of what you can do here. So at this point, I can scale this and warp it. You can move it around. You can do this with all the curves and really start to define the shape that I want to achieve. For someone that's not a trained industrial designer that wants to maybe draw without a drawing tablet, here's the great thing about this. What I can do, start a new file. On the vector layers, I can switch to a curve point mode. So I can start to do all this with curves to define a shape rather than having to draw it. And then at that point, I can come in if I want to start defining defining what the highlights are going to be and things like that. So I can do this to an infinite degree. I can change colors. Maybe I want it to be a little bit brighter white and start to just move this around and define exactly what it's going to look like. Again, I can, I can warp this. I can add specific warping points if I want to make different shapes. So it's just really a, a powerful package to kind of go beyond that or have a paradigm shift in traditional drawing 2D techniques. At the end of the day, if you want to take this out to a package to build a 3D model of it, extremely simple. We can bring out the image itself if we want to export this out. And what's powerful for your industrial design users is that we can export this out as a Photoshop file. So export it out as a native PSD file and you're good to go. The other thing that we can do is export these curves that I just drew out as an AutoCAD DWG file. So with that DWG, we can build a model inside of Alias. Anything that accepts a DWG file, we can build a model. So awesome technology here.